Hey guys and girls, back with a new vlog. Uh, found some old footage, not a perfect angle, but still we got something to work with. We're gonna start with a takedown strategy from Frank, the brown belt. Um, so he starts with a beautiful arm drag, takes the back, and Tom, the blue belt, he's holding a perfect base, so it's hard for Frank to take him down. And what we're gonna uh, see is later on he's gonna take the back, and I wanna make uh, a little bit of a difference because this is jiu-jitsu sparring, maybe competition, then it's okay to jump on the back, what Frank's gonna do, but this is something you don't wanna do in a self-defense situation or in an MMA fight because your uh, opponent can drop you on your head and that's really dangerous. But for the rest, beautiful back take if someone has a strong uh, base. Now we're gonna forward to Frank against Mike and we're gonna see how Frank is gonna kill the knee shield. Something you, uh, you encounter a lot in, uh, in sparring. What we're gonna see is that Frank is gonna kill the knee and gonna kill the butt. One leg, um, the Mike's left leg is already uh, between the legs, so it's easier for him to pass, put the pressure on, and pass the guard. So this is perfect when you have a control. In the next um, few clips, we're gonna look at uh, some strategies for standing passing. So we're gonna see Frank and me here. I end up in Frank's guard. First thing I have to do is make sure he's not submitting me because he's gonna attack my arm. So uh, what I will do is create a frame on his neck and shift my weight so he can't bring my arm out. Luckily, he lets go of my head. What you see is I build a frame with my uh, left arm, shift the weight a little bit. Therefore, he's able to go for a high guard, he thinks. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up in the guard. So whenever it's hard for you to maintain your posture or you're finding a guy with, with long legs, it's, it might be a good idea to stand up in the guard. Now, I'm shifting my weight forward on purpose because I'm waiting for him to go for the sweep. And that's my cue to open or uh, to keep the guard open, as you can see in a second. He's gonna go for it. Look at how I how I'm gonna move my hip. So boom. I'm able to go to uh, to a headquarters position immediately instead of being swept. So first of all, I want to make sure he doesn't get a good delay hiva or um, a, a lasso on my arm and I'm able to change the angle and start attacking the neck. This is something I do a lot when he tries to, uh, to sweep, gonna attack the neck, maintain balance, and eventually I'm gonna finish the choke. I don't even mind that my right leg was still trapped in his guard, not at all. But that's something you can only do with good balance. The guy thinks he's gonna sweep you and you will be able to submit him. Something you can work on when you're able to spar again. Uh, let's see, this, so this is the next round. I think I'm gonna end up in, uh, in Frank's guard again. A little bit of grip fighting here. Let's see what's gonna happen. He's gonna pull guard or I'm gonna go in his guard most likely. Uh, I don't mind that because it's still sparring and you have to work both ways. So let's see, grab the knee, keep the guard open and I'm gonna stand up, I guess, looking at what I'm, uh, what I'm doing here because Frank is already trying to, uh, you can't see it, but he's already trying to get a delay Hiva hook. There it is, you see? So then I have to make, my, uh, make up my mind and stand up, control the knees, work for headquarters position again. Uh, what I'm now doing right now is put some weight on his hip so he can't move. I can control the feet and start working for, uh, for my pass. So I don't want the foot on the hip and when there's no foot on the hip, it's very easy for you to pass. So he's not controlling your leg, your ankle, or your hip. And I can put the knee on the, on the stomach. Little thing you can't see here, he has long legs. He has his foot in my armpit. And I'm controlling his sleeve and putting my knee on the stomach. So basically, I'm just keeping control. But uh, eventually, the clock goes and we have to switch around. But I, I wasn't in, in any danger of being swept as long as I keep relaxed. Yeah, the guy, so if someone puts in a foot or tries to, to hook you or whatever, just keep your position and don't do any uh, over-exaggerated moves because therefore you might lose your balance and your opponent might be able uh, to sweep you. So um, this, uh, this week's vlog is a little bit shorter. Again, as I said a few weeks earlier, uh, we have to work with some old footage because we cannot train. So it's not always a perfect angle, it's not always perfect material, 
but still we have something to offer you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will, uh, I will see you uh, with the next episode. So, uh, probably next week or the week after, depending on uh, the, the videos I can, uh, I can find. Thanks for watching, and be safe, guys.